You've seen the build up of the bookshelf. Well, we're gonna slow it down and take you through all the steps and show you how easy this is to assemble. Open up your box, remove all the panels and locate that instruction manual because that's what you're gonna use to identify each one of the panels according to the manual. Now looking here straight away, we have three loose shelves. Now the loose shelves are the three which have no holes on the sides. They're loose shelves, they're not gonna be mounted to anything. The other three shelves are the fixed shelves. We have the fixed top, fixed middle, and the fixed base. You can identify these because they've got holes for the dowels and holes for the screws. Then we have our two side pieces. These are two asymmetrical pieces. We have a right side and we have a left side. Easy way to identify which is left and right. Have a look at the bottom. You have the double holes at the bottom and they must be located on the inside with the cover strip facing up. We then have our two rail pieces and we have our backing boards. Now we're gonna check our hardware. What I like to do is actually get it all out and sort it, organize it according to its type so that way it's much easier for me to select the right component when assembling the unit. We've got our dowel pins, our director screws, our feet, which are our protectors for the bottom of the bookcase. We've got our shelf pins, panel pin nails, and some screws, and some covers to cover up the director screws at the end of the assembly. Before you get started with the assembly, you need to do a little bit of preparation of some of the bores, and that means inserting the dowel pins into the three fixed shelves, as well as the two rails. All our dowels are in. We now need to insert our protectors on the underside of each of these side panels. You'll see the holes on the edge there. Just line it up and push those protectors into place. With all the prep work complete, it's now time for the fun part. That's the assembly. We're gonna start off with our side panel, put it up on its edge with the cover strip facing up and the rough edge facing down. Take your first fixed panel and push them in. Take two of our director screws, line them up into the holes, and then tighten it with the Allen key. Okay, the exactly the same process with the next fixed shelf. Push that in, add in another two director screws from the other side. Moving on to our base shelf. Line it up again, peg hole, pull out your director screw, and then just tighten. We've got two rails, one that goes in the bottom, line it up with the dowel hole, pull it in tight, and then secure them again with the director screw. I'm gonna put my last rail piece in at the same time as I bring in the right side so that it ends up just having a bit of support and it doesn't want to flop down. Before you close it completely, make sure you pop in the rail. Now it's supported all the way around. Once you've got those all in the dials in the right holes, now you can put in your director screws. There you go, my structure is complete. I'm now gonna flip it over and start fixing my backboard to the back side of the structure. Now you can see our backing board is made up of three pieces. We've got two main pieces and then we've got the joiner that goes in between the two. First of all, you wanna make sure that you have the pattern surface face down towards the inside of the bookcase. Now we're gonna use the joiner. It basically works like a tongue and groove system. We're gonna line that up, pop that in all the way down, and you can gently just push it all the way through. Make sure that you have got both panels deep inside that groove to make sure you have a good join. Just slide it over and make sure that your panel is square and flush with the edges of the bookcase. Once you're happy with that, you're gonna tack it in with the panel pins. Now we're knocking in the panel pins. Make sure that the panel pin is situated in the middle of the timber. If you put it too close to the edge, that nail is gonna burst out and damage the side of the board. Once you've got all your nails in, you can add in some 16 millimeter screws just to add some extra strength around the backboard. Now's a good time to get out these little cover stickers. Now what these are used for is to actually to cover up the ends and these unsightly director screws. Now you'll see it's got a grain style to actually match the existing boards. So just make sure you line the grain up correctly and you can pop in that sticker to cover up those screws. 
Our bookshelf is looking good. All we need to do now is pop in our shelf pins and then we can put our shelves in. Making sure we've got our cover strip on the outside. That's it, the last shelf is in and it looks fantastic. It was so easy to assemble. It didn't take much time at all. All that I need to do now is put it into place and put it to good use. If you enjoyed this clip, like it, share it. You can also subscribe to our Builders Fan YouTube channel. There's a range of DIYs and how-tos just like this for you to be inspired, get to Builders, and get it done.